So at this point, we have a pretty functional resource gathering system for our game. We can harvest nodes. When the nodes are depleted, they'll explode with a particle effect. We can switch to different tools with our hotbar, swing at a different node, and the only an appropriate tool will be able to harvest the right node. So I think just to kind of wrap up for fun, we could uh, try to expand our game level a little bit, add a few extra types of nodes and uh, different terrain that we can walk on. And that'll pretty much be it for uh, this mini series on creating a gatherer RPG. So one thing that would be pretty cool to add to our game to make the world a little bit more lively would be animated tiles. So we can add a bobbing raft that we can walk across to get between our aisles um, using the textures that are in the gatherer's exterior pack. So here I have floating platform.png. So in order to add the raft, I would drag this into the tiles section for the tile set. Um, so if you don't remember, you just make sure you have tile map selected, go to tile set view, and it will be right here. So drag this over here. And when you get, would you like to create tiles automatically? This time hit no, because uh, we're going to be creating just one tile, but it's going to be animated. So now go to setup view, uh, make sure that your texture region is set to be the size of your tiles. So 16 by 16 is what I need here. So I'm just going to left click on the first tile. And rather than creating the other tiles here, what I'm going to do is go to select mode, select my tile, and then animation frames, we want to click add element. And the next tile will be automatically added as part of this one's animation. So do that two more times for a four frame animation. And we want to set the duration for these frames for how long each of them should take. So I'm thinking something like 0 0.2 seconds should be good. So 0 0.2 and then tap a few times 0 0.2, so on and so forth, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So that'll make a 0.8 second long animation to draw with this animated tile. Okay, so now let's go over to tile map mode. Make sure eraser is turned off and make sure that you're in selection mode so you can hit Q for that. And I'm going to be writing these onto the top layer so that it doesn't override any of the ground. So top, and I can just basically place the rafts where I need it. So like so. And you can see that already in the editor that our raft is animating. Now it's moving a little fast. So I'll go back to tile set view, click on the tile editor, and then go to the frames. Let's make it 0 0.3 seconds for each of these. You can, of course, have different timing for each frames if you want. But that's how you can take a animated sprite sheet and turn it into a tile animation for your editor. So let's create a couple more rafts that will lead to more islands, kind of like so. Now, the way that I had the collision set up uh, for the water was that all the tiles that are water have collisions, except for the ones, if we go to water view here and tile set water, that are using the alternative tile. So I'm going to draw the alternative tile under these rafts so that I can actually uh, walk under them. So let's do that for all of these water tiles. Okay, and then save the game level and let's hit play to test. And we should be able to walk onto our rafts, as you can see here. Uh, so this one, I must have missed a tile, but let's keep going and check out this over here. We can get onto that island. So let's stop the view and finish up that um, collision change for the water. And if we go back into play mode, actually, um, what's causing the block here is the ground tile itself. But because the water tile already has the collisions, I can actually just remove the collision from this ground here because it's the water that we really need for the collisions. So let's go back out. I'll edit my tile set. Let's go to tile set grass. And these tiles here, these three, that already had their physics layer set up, we'll just remove the collision shape here. So if we hit C to clear, we can left click on each of these. C, clear, C, clear, and um, that should just remove the collisions from those. So now if we hit play, again, we'll go down to here, and you can see that the water under it is still blocking our movement. But if I go here, where we don't have that water collision tile, but just a normal water tile, then we can actually walk and exit our island. So just a little bit of tweaking to get that needed, and uh, now we can basically walk over the water where we need to.